G'day, it's Chris, and today we're going to be doing a road trip in Tesla Model 3. This is going to be to help raise some funds for people who have been um, victims of the bushfires around Victoria, New South Wales, Queensland, and further afield. So, let's do this. Welcome everyone, my name is Chris and this is your channel for everything happening in the space of EVs, renewables, solar, batteries, you name it. And well, I'm sitting here in Tesla Taxi. Now, this is a car that you can rent if you want to. And uh, hey, if you also got a, um, you know, a Tesla that you want to hire out, be it a Model S, X or 3, um, yeah, go check out the link down below. If we can keep this car in Victoria longer, the better, because that way I get to use this car even longer because Thanks to Tesla Taxi, they're a major sponsor of this episode. So thank you, Milan and Tesla Taxi. All right, what are we doing? Basically, we're gonna be going from Rockbank BP service station, and yeah, I know it's ironic, but whatever. Going through Blackwood Forest, um, Trentham, Dalesford, and finishing off at the Ballarat Supercharger. I started with 90% state of charge, I preconditioned the cabin, and it said I had 336 kilometers of range. So I'm not gonna stop, I'm gonna drive normally, at the speed limits, all that usual jazz. But first, stop. gotta get some stuff. Okay, got the wipes, let's find some people. You wanna say hi? Hello, how's it going? <laughs> Hi, internet. <laughs> you can say your name if you want to. I'm Hello, Michael. Chris. How are you? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Deb. Hi. Hey. All right, cool. We've got a few more minutes. We'll get going. Works. Yeah? Sure. This is sure, good. Yeah. And we've got quite the lineup here. <laughs> Look at this little sexy beast. After white, this is my next favorite color. Comment below if you like that one. <laughs> so we've got a standard range plus, we've got a long range. And we've also got a uh, performance model three, and uh, yeah, quite quite the impressive group of cars. No, don't you reckon? Yeah, I reckon definitely. Okay, so refreshments done. I need to clean the lens on my GoPro and my mobile, and we'll get going. Got the uh, GoPro set up right now, and it's time to navigate to um, Blackwood Forest. Let's go. But thanks to Deb who's currently filming, we're about to go through the Blackwood Forest. Now, I just I just tried doing a live stream event, but unfortunately the reception around here and the countryside is a bit dodgy, so it's broken. Anyway, sad to say, but this thing's happened. Um, so what I was really hoping to do here was, again, raise some awareness around the bushfires that are happening in Australia in 2019. They've affected multiple towns, cities and states throughout the entire country and it is unlike anything we have ever seen. So I've got some links down below. Uh, no matter where you live, I've got a link for you. If you live in Victoria, please donate to the CFA. New South Wales, we've got the Front Cups um, campaign and in Queensland, there's some other organisations up there doing their bit to help everyone out. So if you can donate, awesome. If you can't donate some funds, just put together a care package. It's more than likely you've got some stuff at your house that you can actually donate. And uh, there are families who are displaced at the moment, they can't get back to their homes, and anything's appreciated, such as linen, toiletries, uh, obviously give them fresh, clean stuff, um, food, you name it. Please donate if you can, and yeah, let's make this uh, a campaign that we'll all be very proud of and something to remember more fondly of in 2020 because let's face it, these fires have um, resulted in multiple lives lost, people losing their homes, kids not getting their presents on Christmas day. It's, it's very tragic and it's just something that I think we can all respond to and understand and it's, yeah, please do what you can. A 
Okay, so this road is 80 k's per hour, so I'm gonna set autopilot, and let's see what it does. seriously impressive that corner that's something I, I, I would have done myself and uh, it kept center lane very nicely it maintained its, its speed very well uh, didn't feel any hesitation or jerkiness about it it's, a, it's a, quite a good update Now, little side note, autopilot is not designed for this. <laughs> Autopilot's meant for highway, freeway driving and not curvy back roads like this. Okay, we've arrived in Dowsford and a quick little learning I've had with this car is that the voice controls for it aren't as good as they used to be, I swear. It's supposed to be better, but I tried no less than five times to say navigate to Town Hall in Dowsford. And I tried different ways of saying the same thing and it couldn't get it. And I was doing weird things like 10 pin bowling and stupid stuff like that. It didn't make sense. Go figure. Anyway. Update on the economy of our trip so far. I've done uh, 47 kilometers and we're doing 143 watt hours per kilometer. Uh, so very economical, do it quite comfortably. It says I've got about 50% of battery left or 205 kilometers. So getting to Ballarat from here will be a cinch. In fact, I could be, probably even go all the way home. So when we get to the Ballarat superchargers, let's see. Put down below, what do you think the uh, remaining battery is going to be? You can Google it. Um, let me try now with the uh, voice, hang on. Navigate to Ballarat superchargers. And now it works, of course. Ah, ironic. Okay, this is spotted by Ray, and there's a car coming. Um, there's a EV charging station just by the town hall in Ballarat. So we've all come to check it out. Okay, coffee is done and now we're going to head to Ballarat. Alright, status update. As the trip goes on, the efficiency of the car is improving. Uh, I'm now at 133 watt hours per kilometer or 13.3 kilowatts per hour. Uh, doing remarkably well. I preconditioned the uh, cabin for actually a good 10 minutes before I got into its last time. And uh, cabin temperature is set to 21 and is handling this uh, trip like a champ. I'm using autopilot for almost all of it and it's pretty smooth but as noted by um, Ash, the, the shadows do tend to throw it off a little bit. Like it, it's nice and smooth through corners like here, here and now, no shadows, but throw a shadow on the road and it suddenly will just do a little bit of a snaky type of move and um, Mm, little, little disconcerting, but nonetheless, it's uh, pretty good. Um, at coffee, the other guys noted that the um, the voice command, although it was all supposed to be better, actually is uh, worse, and for some, it isn't really working at all. Uh, so, yeah, I, obviously, look, there'll be 
with Teslas, they just keep on doing these uh, software updates. So even if there are some issues, and the joke, the joke of coffee was, you, maybe you should have actually tried it with an American accent. And sorry to my American friends, that was a shocking, shocking accent, and I shall never ever do that again. Anywho, um, so yeah, we're uh, about 20 minutes away from. Uh, Ballarat superchargers and when we get there I'll update you. After departing home and uh, with 90% state of charge, I've now arrived here after 154.9 kilometers with 42% uh, battery remaining. Uh, pretty impressive. So if we extrapolate that out, I'll do the math at home and I'll put it on screen right now. Um, so I'll say a big thank you to these guys for joining me here today. And again, thanks to Tesla Taxi in helping to sponsor this episode. If you are wanting to um, try out a Tesla, you know, be it Model 3, X or S, well, these guys are available both in Queensland, New South Wales, ACT, Victoria, and I believe soon in Adelaide, but that's to be confirmed. And uh, apologies to Melanie if I'm getting ahead of myself there. All right, well, thanks for joining me, guys. It's been a great trip, a good learning. And look, the efficiency of these vehicles just can't be surpassed. And you know, we're filling up right now with renewable energy. And if you're at home, you can do the same thing. Fill up with the sun if you can. And look, what do we do? We be good? Be, be green. green.